Welcome back to Character Limit Exceeded, the movie review segment where every word counts. It is your favorite jerk, Danny. And today we're talking about the jerk. Boys. David, it's time to pick, pick that, that stick. stick. Hmm. This one. Uh, this one, poor Floss. Hey, 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 simmer down now. <laughs> All right, well, I have the chirp. It's 280 characters. Mm. That leaves me with the book report, 250 words. I'm glad we're all staying on our old streaks. I'm back with the Hemingway, six words. <laughs> all right, well, let's get to the reviews, everybody. Uh, the book report. Steve Martin's The Jerk is the tale of a truly simple man leaving his adopted family's home in the country for the first time. We follow Navin Johnson, played by Martin, as he repeatedly attempts to get a grip on his new life in the bustling city of St. Louis. Comedy ensues as Navin lands his first job, discovers lust and love for the first time, stumbles his way into gaining riches beyond his wildest dreams, and loses it all except for his thermos. Personally, I believe Navin to be so endearing largely due to the Mr. Magoo-esque nature he manages to luck his way through every situation, not to discount Martin's own charm. Navin's decision-making abilities are that of a happy puppy. He means well, but doesn't know any better and lacks the context needed to navigate life's many experiences. Some of the greatest moments are Navin's letters home to his family, giving us a quite unique view of the world from his eyes. Martin and his writing partners managed to create a film that holds up four decades later, despite a cringy moment or two. Having not seen the movie in several years, I was pleased to find myself laughing just as hard as I always have. The film somehow manages to hit all of the notes you could hope for in a comedy movie. If you haven't had the pleasure of experiencing the jerk, I suggest you finally get around to discovering your special purpose. The Chip Comedy movies today often embrace improvisation and riffing between the cast. The jerk is way over the top, and it reminds us that comedies can be constructed. It's wordplay and situational humor, with a dash of morbidity, from the perspective of the world's most charming idiot. The Hemingway. Steve Martin says the N-word. Steve Martin finds his special purpose. Mm -hmm. No. 